Greetings, I am White Bull. Hello, dear friends, a very warm welcome to you. I'm happy as always to be in your presence. I hope you will feel me with you just a little, not only as an image on a screen, and that my presence with you can remind you of always my most sacred intention, which is to serve you and to make a contribution in some small way towards your greater inner freedom and your deeper inner peace. This is what we see happening to many of our friends that perhaps unexpectedly opportunity presents itself to really go within, to feed the soul, to be in touch with whatever has to be done. And of course, it's rather like in nature, there were times before farmers were putting chemicals in the soil, they would leave their fields fallow for a while. And in leaving them fallow, the fields, the earth would generate by itself and be ready to be planted for a new harvest. And so what we see happening with you now is that the seemingly fallowness of this period is allowing you and many others to actually regenerate in a way that they can't always be in touch with, but they're anyway feeling what is good for them, what they need right now, and the time exists for it. And inevitably it leads to a moment where indeed you will plant new seeds and a wonderful harvest will come. Enjoy the fallowness of this period, and fallowness is a time of peace also. And even those who may be in your eyes relatively unconscious, it's happening to them too. It can't not. They have a soul also, and every soul craves space, the unstructured time in which it can start to grow and assert itself. So, yes, it's a positive moment for everybody, and everybody will take steps according to their own capacity, but they will move forward there's no way back. It's somehow that in all that is happening, there's a kind of miracle taking place. Also, except that the miracle will extend also to your own lives. You're not going to be excluded from the miracle, the precious gift, the grace that is operating in your world right now. You are a part of that too. So it's important to get into the stream of this miracle energy that unexpectedly is coming at a moment of perfect timing, of course. And you are being swept along in that river. Yeah. So go with the flow. Go with the flow. Or shall we say not on so much on a personal level, on a mind level. On a mind level, of course, and that's understandable. So allow your mind this. Don't think it's wrong. Don't fight against it. Don't try to overcome it with more mind energy. Just acknowledge it. Allow it. Be aware of it. But at the same time, from that position of the higher view, keep your distance and allow whatever is to happen to happen. So I'm not saying to you, you've got to switch off your mind, that would be too big a ask at the moment. Allow it. Your mind has a right to feel these things. Your mind has a right to fill you with thoughts of fear. That's how it has been programmed for millennia. It wants to keep you safe. It wants to protect you. It wants to provide safety for you by blocking the possibility of a greater change than you can imagine. So, yes, allow it, allow it. This is not a time for fighting anything, but allow it. Talk to it if you wish. Say, okay, mind, I know exactly how you're feeling. I give you full permission to do this. There's nothing you're feeling or thinking that it can be wrong because it is your nature to do it this way. So I give you all the time you need, but I stay in peace. Timing, as you're already learning from this experience, is everything. So if something in you wants to move, to prepare, to cleanse, to be ready in the end, to be able to go forward without any distraction, that you are free. In a way, once you've resolved whatever it is you're doing in your home or your garden, it gives a new sense of freedom. Something that has been waiting to be done is now complete. It's tying up the loose ends, not only of what practical things have to be done, at some level, you're also tying up the loose ends of what may need to be resolved in your family, in your circle of friends. Whatever may hold you back, whatever may you think, oh, I haven't done that yet, or I should be doing that. The slate is then clean. Mm -hmm. Nothing is there to stop you. You can't say, let's say that the highest being of light was to arrive at your doorstep tonight and say, come, let's go. You wouldn't be able then to say, I'm sorry, I can't, I haven't finished hiding my attic, or I have still got to weed my garden. You'll be ready to go, ready to answer the call, whatever it is. 
So it's very symbolic. It's very symbolic what you are doing. I think everybody has to take responsibility for this themselves. If you're in an opportunity to communicate with somebody in a conversation, you can give some words of advice or guidance. You can offer an, a picture, an image of what is happening. But what you call the lockdown indeed is not just a lockdown of human activity. It is a lockdown of the mind because it gives the space for the soul to start showing itself and for people to be in touch with their inner selves. There will be fear, of course. But that doesn't stop the process that is occurring, the cleansing of the inner being. Love brings to the surface anything unlike itself. So just as you experience in nature itself, in the physical world itself, a cleansing is happening, that isn't just happening in nature, it's happening to everything that is an expression of the divine upon planet Earth. So it is happening. What is being defined or referred to as the darkness is, I believe, not the physical darkness, but people interpret that word always as such. But it is, yes, the closing down of that which fights the light. And people will have to meet the darkness. Many people are now meeting their own shadow. So in a way, that's also a wonderful thing. But the shadow will rise up and will rise up and will rise up and rather like a bubble of gas coming from the bottom of the pond, it'll disperse. But the benefit of what you call your lockdown is the shadow will not be there with country fighting country. It may be that some people in the privacy of their homes are having a few little arguments. But that is for them to deal with. But essentially it is, the shadow is surfacing. But it is surfing because powers of light and love are drawing it to the surface. Not for it to stay, but for it to, as I said, rise up, rise up and rise up. The main shift is occurring in those who have given them the power in the first place. Yeah. And now those people are gaining their own power and therefore the whole consciousness is raising. And this is why these so-called powerful people will fight back with whatever argument they can find. But the, it's a losing battle. The okay. cat is out of the bag. So this is why, and this has always been part of my teaching, that the changes on earth will only occur when the collective consciousness is raised that is then ready to recognize a true leader. What's the point of a true leader showing themselves too early? They will only be laughed out of office. They will only inevitably fail because other powers that also believe they're powerful will repress them. But there's no power greater than God. And when people are feeling this within their own hearts, then Everybody who thinks they are powerful, faced with that divine power, they're like straw in the wind. So this is a great chance given to humanity. And of course, we don't believe in terms of success or failure, but this is a great opportunity for humanity to finally flex their muscles, flex their love muscles, to mm -hmm. raise the consciousness, to have the vision to see through the illusions and the lies they are being told to see what control is in their life and how they're going to stop giving their power away to the propaganda that they are fed. Mm -hmm. This must be the prayer, this must be the vision for all humanity to awaken. When you say this is an opportunity for an awakening, it is to awakening to the scales to fall from the eyes and to see the illusions and to be able to step into your true power, which is your realization that you are a part of God. And that is the one true power, the only true power. Thank you for asking me this. This is a very important central point of my message at this time, which I want to share with as many as possible. So. Mm -hmm.